I'm not gonna live in fear. Hello guys, it's Charles Grove with Foraging Truth. Uh, I got the chance to go out um, in the woods today and look for some wild mushrooms, looking for some choice edible wild mushrooms. There is a lot of mushrooms out now. We've had some rains, we have really warm temperatures, the, the summer mushrooms are starting to really come out. So, let's talk about the chanterelle. The chanterelle is in my mind, one of the best mushrooms you can find in the woods. It is delicious, but this is not a beginner's mushroom. This mushroom takes some experience and it does have a poisonous look-alike. And there is many, many, many mushrooms in the chanterelle family, in the Cantarellus genus. So, what do we have today? Well, the chanterelle. It's a different looking mushroom, isn't it? A chanterelle is vase shaped, as you can see. It comes down and it has these ridges that stick up. Um, sometimes in, when they're early, they do have more of a cap appearance. Let's go ahead and remove this one. You're gonna see that those are not gills. Those are gill lines. They're just small folds. They're forked, and you can see some of the little lines go from one to another. And you can see where it, all the gill lines end right on the stalk. So this is gonna have a buff or slightly yellow spore print if you leave these layout on some paper so you can get that. So let's talk about how we can properly identify this mushroom. Well, first and foremost, the look-alike is a jack-o'-lantern mushroom. The jack-o'-lantern can look similar to this. The difference is the jack-o'-lantern has actual gills. So the gills will be a lot deeper. They won't be just lines on the stalk like that. They're gonna be a lot deeper. They can take the shape of a chanterelle. That's why you have to know the difference. So, I'm going to try to do this. The main difference between the two, this is actually a pretty decent one, is the chanterelle is going to have white flesh. And you can see that it has the consistency of like string cheese. You can see the little piece hanging there. The jack-o'-lantern will be orange the whole way through. It will not have this white inner inside. It has the the chanterelle has this nice orange yellow outside and when you tear it in half you're going to see that white string cheesy looking texture here's another difference we always smell our mushrooms because that can tell us whether we have the right mushroom or not this mushroom will not smell like mushrooms it will smell like almost like apricots or fruity which this one does really apricot actually. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this in my mushroom bag and we are gonna go see if we can find some more guys. All right, if I can find some jack-o'-lanterns, I'll show those to you too. Hello guys, it's Chuck Grove again. Um, now the chanterelles are up, but let's go over some other mushrooms that may be misidentified. It has the same color as the chanterelle. <clears throat> has the same kind of appearance as the chanterelle, but wait a second. This one has gills. Those are not gill lines. Let me show you what gills are. You can clearly see that this mushroom has gills. So, this is not a chanterelle has a vase 
kind of appearance as it gets older it'll even kind of these margin edges will turn upward and uh, it'll have the appearance of a chanterelle now i see that something has harvested some of these mushrooms and as you can see the gills are laying on the ground right here um that's not good i hope uh i hope that wasn't a person because if you ingest jack-o-lantern that's what this is the jack-o-lantern mushroom if you ingest this you can expect um nausea vomiting diarrhea uh, the worst case of ibs your little bowel syndrome you've ever thought of and it's symptomatic for about 24 hours not a good thing so what is another way we can uh identify the fact that this is not a chanterelle remember i ripped the other one in half the chanterelle and it was white on the inside you can clearly see that this one is yellow on the uh underside now this will still give you a white spore print if you take a spore print so remember that the um chanterelle is a buff or a light yellow spore print this will be a white spore print this is going to make you sick now they still have a purpose and they still break down um, dead and deca decaying wood you're not always going to see them on a log though you might see them out away from the log you know or out away from the stump like over here or are scattered about kind of like chanterelles and that is the reason we have to know what we're doing in the woods you can't kind of be sure you can't almost be sure you have to be positive that you know what you're harvesting so and as you can see i have my manual right here one of my woods manuals that i use and this will tell you all about the jack-o-lantern and of course it's in the poisonous section and it'll give you the description right here what the spore print is what the symptoms are what the treatment is and the treatment is pretty much time and there's all different types of uh, poisonous mushrooms in this manual so another good manual to have um all right guys the mushrooms are out uh i've already gotten a few messages from some of you asking me what certain types of mushrooms are and uh what um what they can do with them uh some of them have been toxic some of the pictures you guys have sent and i'll make sure i get back to you as soon as i can but um we are going to be putting together a nature walk in my area out here i'm looking at some different state parks that I could take you guys for a walk on. I'm going to have to go out and look at them first to see if we have the right types of mushrooms that I want to show you and the right types of plants. I don't know if we'll do any harvesting. Everything's kind of up in the air. But it seems like I need to start getting some, some hands-on with some people. So anyway, all right, guys. Um, I'm out here in some of my chanterelle spots, and I did find a good many of them coming up right here. These are a different type of chanterelle. These are actually... A smooth chanterelle is what these are called and if you can see they really don't have real 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 distinct lines on them. now these are smaller they're just starting but kind of limited for hands here you're gonna notice that the interior is white not orange that is one of the biggest ways to identify that you have a chanterelle and not a jack-o-lantern. Now you can see some other ones I have gathered up in my hand. Now this one was kind of buggy. We're gonna let that one go. You can see some little guys right here. You can see the gill lines, but they're very, very, very faint. Let's see if we can find any more here. That one's, a, one's pretty buggy. Oh, right here. <clears throat> that one's buggy. Oh, that one doesn't look too bad. Now with Chanterelle's guys in the east, we deal with worms. That one's pretty buggy. 
we deal with worms. But what you can do is if the, if the worms have got to them, what you can do is you can cut away the wormy places and take the fresh material, you know, and, um, and eat that. Now I bet you there's probably more. This whole, this whole edge will be covered with them where I'm at. But this is early in the chanterelle season. And that is not a chanterelle. And when you're looking for chanterelles, you're gonna learn to hate orange leaves. <laughs> But, you know, I think I'll head back through and see what else I've missed. Even with these being orange guys, you, you'll walk right by them. They'll, they come up underneath the leaves, they push the leaves up. So if you see leaves, like umbrellaing up off the ground, it's always good to uncover them and see what you have. And always, always, always positively identify what you have. You're gonna see some other types of mushrooms here. These are bolets, but that one's well past. These are some other types of bolets. A lot of these have some pretty weird characteristics. They stain different colors pretty rapidly, as you can see. Now, some of these bolet mushrooms are easy to identify, and others, you need a microscope. So, as far as foraging, there is a couple that you can know just by the look of the cap, what it is, but we're gonna get into that a little bit later, and we're not gonna delve into that as of right now because if you're solely relying on mushrooms and that's the only thing you have to eat is this type of mushroom you found and uh, you're not positive before you eat that even if it gives you a bad case of diarrhea and you're in a survival situation and it's hard to keep water in you guys know what can happen so you have to diversify you have to learn your mushrooms Learn your plants. If you don't have plants and mushrooms, well, you might want to go to Cambian and Bark. And if you just can't bring yourself to do that, well, God created animals and God created fish. So, looks like, oh, this guy right here, hiding in plain sight. Ooh. Little buggy. But that is a, that's a type of bullet. You can see it doesn't have gills, it has that spongy material, that's, it's like tubules coming out. But it is a terrestrial mushroom. So, we'll get into bullets a little bit later. And we're gonna stick with the chanterelles. But it looks like I've exhausted my chanterelle spot this time of the year. This is Chuck Grove with Foraging Truth, and we've covered the chanterelle and the jack-o'-lantern. Don't confuse the two. All right, guys, have a great day. Keep foraging.